Hello, Spencer County. Uh, as you know, I am Chuck Abel, the Acting Superintendent of Spencer County Schools, and with me today is... Uh, Cindy Hayes. I'm the District Health Coordinator and Spencer County School Nurse. Okay. Nurse Cindy and I wanted to come to you today to talk to you about a couple of things. First and foremost, I need to talk to you about our, our school status for the remainder of the week. Uh, but first, let me say... I do appreciate the patience that you, the community has given us uh, the past several weeks in regards to our transportation woes and some of the issues that we've had here at school. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the COVID situation has, has caught up to us this week in a, in a significant way. Uh, for example, we've had at least nine routes canceled each and every day as, as, a, as a result of COVID. Our cafeteria, cafeteria staffs have been running at a, on a skeleton crew uh, due to the number of people that have been out. Uh, we've also been short at least nine substitute teachers each and every day uh, and have had to cover those positions with uh, various staff members uh, within the building. Uh, and today, uh, our student attendance has dropped close to 80%. We had you know, 230 kids out at the high school alone today. Uh, so that means that one out of five of our, our students is at home falling behind. Um, as a result, I don't think that we can uh, operate effectively and, efficient, and efficiently anymore this week. So I am going to cancel school for the remainder of this week. There will be no school in Spencer County on Thursday and Friday. Uh, these will be traditional days off. I do appreciate the flexibility that NTI gives us. However, I'm not a huge fan of NTI, but I also realize that people don't like to go to school to the middle of June. So moving forward, we'll be using a combination of both NTI days and traditional days off. But these next two days will strictly be days off for the students that will be added to the end of the calendar. We hope by, that by taking these two days that you couple that with the weekend and then the Martin Luther King holiday on Monday, that gives us five full days that hopefully will give us the opportunity to get some separation from this COVID situation and, and start back fresh next Tuesday. Okay, so again, thank you for your patience and understanding there. I know that's not a decision that a lot of you will be necessarily favorable to. Please know that I've been committed to trying to keep schools open as much as possible and will continue to do so, but I feel like this probably gives us our best option moving forward. Okay. The next thing we want to talk about today is some of the changes that have taken place with the COVID uh, guidelines and recommendations. The CDC a couple, a couple days ago came out with new recommendations and I guess finally the Kentucky Department of Education uh, has adjusted their guidance to schools this week as well. And as a result, there are some significant changes that, are, that will be taking place and we wanted to make you aware of those also. Uh, the first one is that uh, schools, if they universally mask, again that's the big caveat, that universal masking has to be in place and we do mask in all of our schools, but since we do so, schools no longer are required to contact trace throughout the course of the, of the school day. So that, that's, a, that's a big change moving forward. So Nurse Cindy, why don't you talk to us a little bit about that change? Okay, so with that new um, guidance from the Department of Public Health, CDC, um, we are uh, now, when you have a positive case in the school, um, this child that was, uh, close contact of that child, we're going to still um, look at those children and you won't get a phone call to pick up your child anymore. Right. You can, they can go through and stay at school, but you will, we feel like it's important to let you know. So they'll get this letter right. sent home and it'll have the date of the exposure and then the date the letter sent home. So remember your date of exposure may not equal that. It may be a few days before, it's just based on when we get that phone call for that positive student that exposed your child. So one page will be that. The back of it will have the Blue Water Diagnostic um, Testing Center information, um, the QR code you need to scan with your phone. So if you do have symptoms which are listed on um, the page, you can uh, easily access a test here in our community. Um, so that's the change, the big change with close contacts at the school level. Mm -hmm. We won't be sending anyone home. We won't be calling parents. Right. You'll get this at the end of the day. Right. That's exciting news because that's going to allow more of our kids to stay in school on a regular basis. So once again, just to kind of summarize, you know, kids will not be quarantined or required to stay home anymore for a close contact. 
We won't be calling you, but we will send you a note home just for your information that there was a positive case and that your child was in proximity so you can monitor your child moving forward. Okay. There's um, also a big change, I think, in, in the requirements around isolation and quarantines, correct? Correct. The right. dating. So in the past, it was a ten, pretty much a 10-day rule. Um, now, you're, if you have a child that is positive, um, the isolation period can be reduced to um, as short as five days returning on the sixth. That is if symptoms are resolved on day five, then they're free to come back on day six. If they're not um, resolved, if they're still very symptomatic, they need to stay out longer up to that 10 day mark. So that's for a child that tests positive in isolation. Now, if you um, have family members and they're exposed to that positive family member or it, there's, their, there's exposure from a family member outside of the school building, then you're still required to quarantine your children at home. Right. Um, and that quarantine is five days um, uh, past the exposure to the positive family member. And then on day five, if you have a negative test, you can come back on day six. Um, so that's changed a little. We'll still be contacting parents right. if you have positive right. children or positive people in your home right. um, or there's an exposure outside of school that you feel that was a true exposure, um, then that that stays consistent right. there. And I always know that if you have questions in regards to these situations, you know, we're more than, uh, I guess, supportive of, of helping you uh, answer those. So feel free to continue to call and, and we'll work through those scenarios. The last big change is in regards to the, the test to stay model that we've implemented here at school. Since contact tracing is no longer going to take place uh, within the schools, the test to stay as it applies to school rate related exposures is really not going to be relative anymore. However, we are expanding test to stay to those exposures that took place at home from now on. So that, that center will continue to remain open there at the athletic complex. That I do think they're going to reduce their hours because they're anticipating fewer students uh, being involved, but it, it will be from six to nine and it will be open and it will be available for those uh, in-home exposures as well. Is there any additional information there, Nurse Cindy? Um, just the, with the test to stay then, mm -hmm. if you were exposed at home, and I said you'd have to do five days of quarantine. So your five days of quarantine are five days of testing every day right. before the school day. Um, if you test negative, then you can come to school. Right. Um, uh, you have to either show somebody at the building your negative test results or call the school before you come into the building um, and tell them that you're negative and, and have those results ready. And then you're good to go. After that day five, day six, you're out. Right. Um, so you're still in a quarantine per se, but you're testing to stay. Right. So that's um, the P Kentucky Department of Public Health um, <clears throat> did not allow us to use those for co close contacts at home um, or outside of school or for teachers. But now that is right. going to be able to be used. They've changed that guidance as well. Right. So well, that's just all exciting news because what it ultimately means is that your students will be able to spend more time at school. And again, that's what that's what we're focused on. Um, again, moving forward. Um, you know, we'll continue to struggle at times, you know, we're going to, but we're going to stay the path. I mean, again, again, we're wanting to stay in school each and every day, uh, but that's going to require some patience on your behalf because there'll be days where routes are going to be canceled. There's going to be days where we'll be short staff members, but we're determined to, to keep it going. It just so happened this week, you know, was somewhat of a perfect storm with all those things coming together. And we truly hope that these, these next days that we have off will give us the opportunity to clean the slate and then start afresh upon Tuesday. So again, just to summarize, school will be canceled uh, both Thursday and Friday of this week. These are traditional days off, not NTI. These days will be added to the end of the calendar. Uh, and we will uh, then resume school as normal uh, next Tuesday. As far as the COVID protocols uh, that have changed, again, hopefully that will allow more kids to participate in school on a regular basis. And as always, feel free to reach out to us if you have questions. Again, I'd just like to personally thank each and every one of you uh, as community members, as families, as stakeholders. Uh, we're only as successful as the support that you give us, and, and we greatly appreciate uh, the patience and the understanding that you've shown to us this year and, and the patience and understanding that will be required moving forward. So that's all I have. Um, Nurse Cindy, do you have anything else? Is that it? That's all I've got. If you've okay. got questions, we will um, try to post um, the new information on the website right. as well. Okay. 
All right, everyone have a glorious day. Have a safe, long weekend, and God bless.